Hello, this is Chris, and I'm back once again with another reaction video. This is for Mission Impossible 6 Fallout, not to get confused with the video game series, although that would be pretty cool to see Tom Cruise in the wasteland, right? This is the official first trailer that's came out for this thing. This isn't a teaser or anything like that. This is a two and a half minute trailer, so they've jumped straight into it. We actually have reviews for all of the previous Mission Impossible films. We did one video where we did reviews on the first four, and then we did a separate video. It's actually probably one of our older videos on Rogue Nation when we first started out in 2015. Um, Rogue Nation was actually one of my favourite movies from that year and I am now hooked on the Mission Impossible franchise. So I'm going to summarise my thoughts on the films. Uh, one is an entertaining film, sets the stage for everything, I enjoy it. I'm actually in the minority and I really like 2 because it's, you know, it's a John Woo film, it's completely over the top. There's so much slow-mo, doves flying past the camera. Um, but I kind of love it, and it's got the sweet Metallica song in it as well, which I really, really like. Three, I didn't really care for, but it did have a standout performance in it from Philip Seymour Hoffman. I thought he was a great bad guy, but the film itself, I think J.J. Abrams did that one. Really didn't care for it, it was just kind of average, and I probably wouldn't go back and watch it again anytime soon. Uh, four, I thought was great, Brad Bird movie, and that really sort of, I would say that was a soft reboot of the franchise, it really established the team-based mechanic, um, introduced some of the characters that we now see in it very regularly, um, and it had that awesome action set piece, which is kind of the staple now that you're always going to have like one big moment from each of the movies. Five, as I said, absolutely loved, and I can't wait for Mission Impossible 6. Uh, seeing Tom Cruise do most of his own stunts, I think he was actually injured on set of Mission Impossible 6. I think they put it on hold for a while, but then got back to it. I'm done talking. I really want to see this trailer. It's probably actually one of my most anticipated movies of the year, because I am now really engrossed into this franchise. And uh, they just keep getting better. And also we get to see Henry Cavill, what all the fuss was about with his moustache following Justice League with this movie. So that's going to be fun too. So we're going to watch the trailer together now. I'm going to talk much more about it afterwards. So I'm going to click play now. And they're just opening right with that theme song like that. You have to, right? I wonder, did you ever choose not to? The end you always feared is coming. Is that the, um... And the blood will be on your hands. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, the villain from the, the previous the one. Of all your good intentions. Yes. What a terrible choice to make in Berlin. One life over millions. And now the world is at risk. <laughs> I love Alec Baldwin in these films. If he had held on to the plutonium, we wouldn't be having this conversation. His team would be dead. Yes, they would. That's the job. We've got a spy movie involving plutonium. I'm down. That visual there with the mirrors almost looks like uh, John Wick. Like the club scene. You don't understand what you're involved in. You need to walk away. Loved Rebecca Ferguson as well in these films. How many times has Hunt's government betrayed him, disavowed him, cast him aside? How long before a man like that has had enough? Like six movies? Six times? Oh shit. That's not who we are. Oh, come on, Tom Cruise. Remember your training for Mission Impossible 2 with a rock climbing. Maybe we need to reconsider that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the remix. So, how is he? Oh, you know. Same old we think. <laughs> who doesn't love Bing Rames in these movies? There you go. There's the main big stunt, probably. I think that jump between buildings there was the one where he hurt his leg. Oh, man. <laughs> Mission Impossible Fallout. So is Henry Cavill the villain in this movie? Um, I thought he was going to be in it. I guess I should have realised he'd be the villain, but... Um, no, I, I didn't call that. That's pretty cool if he's going to be the villain. 
Um, I really haven't seen him anything outside of the, the DC movies as his performance of Superman, so it'll be interesting to see him do something else. I missed the man from Uncle, so I, I didn't see him in that. I know he was in that too. Not sure if he still had the kind of like 70s porn stash. He may have had that in that movie too. I don't know. Um, th yeah, this movie looks incredible. I don't know if it looks as good as Mission Impossible 5 in my eyes because I really... There was something about Rogue Nation where I just loved all the set pieces and they just flowed and... Like, the opera house scene was easily my favourite part of that movie. You had that, then you had the um, the underwater sequence with the ticking clock, and then you had um, the motorbike chase. It just it all flowed so well. And not to say that this one won't, because don't get me wrong, this looks incredible. The action looks like it's not going to let up. Um, they're still coming up with new ways, new interesting things to do. And, you know, the, the previous movie strapped Tom Cruise to an aeroplane. This looks like it's strapping him to a helicopter. Uh, I'm not sure which one's most impressive, but th this looks great. This, I mean, this is everything you want from a Mission Impossible movie. The fact that we're six movies in and they just look like they keep getting better and better. It really feels like they've found their niche now with these movies. They've really sort of like hit their stride. They know all the ingredients that are necessary. It's kind of like a Bond movie, right? Like a good Bond movie. There are certain little elements that you that are necessary and required to make it the complete experience. And I guess that's the kind of the same with this one. Um, I've always been more of a Mission Impossible fan than I have James Bond. Um, I really like the team dynamic and the, um, the banter back and forth. And I just really like Tom Cruise as an action lead as well. Um, I mean, I'm not going to get into his private life or anything like that. But as an actor, I think Tom Cruise is always solid. Always gives it his all. No matter if he's in a bad movie like The Mummy from uh, last year, he always tries to give it his all as much as he can, as much as the material he's given. And, you know, he's, he's getting older now. He's still doing all these stunts. So absolutely fair play to him for that. This looks incredible. I can't wait. Um, I like that they don't keep rushing them out as well every year. I like that they take like a three-year gap or even longer, whatever it happens to be. Um, I like that they do that. Uh, so I guess that'll do it for my reaction to Mission Impossible 6 Fallout. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Which is your favourite Mission Impossible movie? Who's your favourite member of the team? Anything Mission Impossible related, please do drop me a comment. Got a lot more reaction videos to come, not just from Super Bowl, but I need to backdate some as well. So if you like these reaction videos, if you've just discovered the channel now through these Super Bowl videos, please hit that subscribe button, spread the word, all that good stuff. And until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.